Hi, this is Attorney Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago, as usual, and today we're going to visit our old friend Herbert the Moore in Sovereign Citizens number six. Let's do it. I'm not, I'm not afraid of uh, recalling the cops. I got everything. I'm filming this now. So, so are you discriminating against my nationality, my right to uh, bank here? My First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, are you discriminating? gets right to it. He, he drops the First Amendment and the Fourth Amendment, of course, his, uh, his discrimination. This, this employee is having none of it. Uh, just for a little background, this is the same Herbert uh, that, that managed uh, this outcome at a traffic stop. Do not break my automobile. Oh, damn it! And don't forget to hit like and subscribe or the dogs get it. Well, she's calling the cops. Hi, this is Kelly Okay. He is now video recording me indicating that I am not violating his rights and he's going to leave our business. Don't Apparently this all started with uh, Herbert trying to withdraw some money using his uh, fictitious uh, Moorish nationality card that which she didn't accept. We don't have that on video, but uh, it all flows from that. He's a customer. I do not know him. He's been here before, but I am not familiar with him. No kidding. So we're asking that's, what I'm, that's what I've been wanting to do for a long time. Well, probably needs to be educated. Most likely educated. Yeah. Well, the cops should be here in a few minutes. And I've been coming here for like years and they all of a sudden don't know me now. Precisely, Herbert. That's what we're telling you. Every uh, employee that Comerica Bank ever has does not personally know you. And uh, before they take money out of your account and give it to somebody that they're not sure is you, they'd like some ID to make sure that you are the one receiving the funds. Seems reasonable to me. <laughs> Okay. Well, I got plenty of minutes on my phone. I got plenty of minutes on my phone. And I have a camcorder. I always keep a camcorder with me just in case BS happens. <laughs> and a lot of BS happens when you provoke it, Herbert. No, just um, withdraw some money from my account. Yes. Oh, um, I have a saving account. No, I, I, I never used a bank card ever. You should really try a bank card. It's fantastic. You can just, you know, get the money without any questions, and uh, the, the machine will even pretend that you're a Moorish. Okay, um, let me see. Well, they're, they're not going to do anything, but it's time for an education anyway. 
Jamie just said it's time for an education in the way. Please, Herbert, do educate us. Yes. Uh, in the meantime, all my money is in the bank. Yeah, but I need a bank card. Where do I get a bank card? Yep, Herbert, you're going to need a valid ID to either withdraw money or get a bank card. I'd go with the bank card, so then you can keep withdrawing money. How do I get a bank card? When you present valid ID. Well, you don't have a bank card. No, never had a bank card in my life. Yeah, she said I need a valid ID. Yeah. So, they should be on their way. And it's taking longer than usual. But it doesn't matter. Got everything open and we can, um, I just put this on YouTube. Day. Well, it's your lucky day, Herbert. Now you're on Law Talk with Mike. I just put this on YouTube and let everybody know. Been coming here for years. We didn't have to show ID now. All of a sudden, I need I need to show ID. Yeah, my ride is waiting for me. I, I should have been gone already. This is why I need a car. Yep, that's why most of us go with, uh, you know, following the, the rules so we can have a car and a bank card because it makes life a lot easier. Hmm. Well, they're taking their time. Nope. Oh. Yeah. You are not authorized to use that camera in our bank. Is that so? Under what law? Under what law? You do not have Is that law or policy? Is that law or policy? Okay. I've been coming here for years without a problem and now I have a problem. Yeah. First Amendment protect their right. Remember that. Time for an education. Still waiting for the cops that are taking their time coming here. All I want is to withdraw my money out of my account. That's all I want to do. I've been doing it for months and Sundays without a problem. Well, she's behind a three-inch thick plastic. Well, I got two things here. First of all, I really like the way this employee's handling it. She's just uh, telling them what the situation is, and then when he argues, she just just waits for uh, the authorities to show up and, and take care of it for her, which I think is definitely the wisest play. And then I just I just love how Herbert's uh, surprised that there's bulletproof glass in a bank, as if that's not standard operating procedure. It's not in the form of a gun. And I'm only filming her. I want to uh, take big 50. Yes, ma'am. Okay. She is the supervisor. Yes. <laughs> nope, she hasn't shown me anything. She keeps saying ID, better ID, state ID. I was here last month without a problem. Uh, why don't you show me some documents that's saying that I need a license ID card? When I came here last month and before that and a month before that without any problem. You do know I have an account here. Oh, she's ignoring me now.
would make a laugh out of this <laughs> What would we do without you? <laughs> All I want to do is draw my money out of my account and go on about my business and I'm still here. My ride is waiting for me outside. <laughs> I would like to know who is dumb enough to volunteer uh, to drive Herbert to the bank. You got things to do. And it's taking a long time for the cops to get here. They're supposed to be here by now. <laughs> well, I'll try to. She she said ID. We, I want to see ID. That's all she keeps saying. I oh, know. I I get tired. Yeah. I also showed her my ID. She don't know anything yeah. about it. So. Like, so she want you. She she just want to do it. She want to do anything. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I have her account here. You want to see it? Yeah. You just turn it on. It was turned off. You want to see my account number? Oh. She's not saying anything. She's just ignoring me. Never had a problem like this. Never. For years, never had a problem. Alright, can you just sign that for me, please? Yeah. They sure is. Holding my month. It's been 10 uh, 12 minutes and the cop still's not here. It's supposed to be here like in three minutes, two minutes, but they're still not here. Oh boy. Tell your superior to come here. I, I'm, I need to talk to her. I'm sorry? Tell your superior to come over here. I need to talk She's to her. She's back here conducting some work for her, so she'll come over in just a second, okay? I have our account here. I've been withdrawing money and doing business here for I, years. I understand your position. I understand. There's some bank teller. Maybe they're on a different shift right now. Yeah, but it's been a long time. Like uh, over a year. Hello. So, Hi. What's going oh, on? What's your name in your badge number? I'm Officer Hines, badge number 57. <laughs> Officer Hines 57, I don't care if it's real or they just made it up. It's funny. Okay, um... I'm trying to withdraw money from my account, and they're okay. saying that my Morris ID card is not valid, so... Oh. Uh, What's your name? Uh, yeah, they're saying your Morris ID card isn't valid because it's not. Uh, I didn't give it. So, you want to speak to my attorney? Because I have him on the phone sure. right now. He's on, it's on speakerphone now. Oh, hello, sir? Yeah, how are you doing, sir? I'm good. What's going on today? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what their policy is. Apparently they have a policy on which form of IDs they'll accept and what forms they will not. And I can't tell them what, uh, what their policy is. But if um, he's in here causing a disturbance or they don't want him to be here, he's going to have to leave. Hey, I mean, coming here? 
Okay. All right. Well, let me talk to the management here and see how they want to handle it. Obviously, this is their grounds and this is their property. So, if they don't want somebody on their property, they have to leave. But let me see what they want to do or see if I can get this resolved so that everybody's happy. Okay. All right. There you go, buddy. Wow, that whole exchange shocked me uh, on many levels. First of all, I highly doubt that the guy at the other end of the phone is an attorney. I don't think an attorney would uh, spend their time doing such a thing. But then I was surprised that uh, the conversation was pretty reasonable. I'm surprised the officer took the call. I mean, I don't know why he, he would discuss it with this. But then they have a little exchange that makes honestly makes a lot of sense. And I think the officer handled it. Very well. I was expecting a lot more crazy there, but uh, it, it was just a reasonable exchange. Are you the manager? Um, okay, let's go back here and talk real quick. Yeah, I've been coming. I've been coming here for months. Never had a problem like this before. Uh, we can no, do that. it's not. It's That's a first still, amendment protector uh, right. Can't delete okay. it. Listen, the uh, bank wants you to leave their property now. So yeah, you don't have to leave or you can be arrested for trespassing. Yeah, they go, they're telling me I need to leave now. Mr. Studsell, you gotta go. Yeah, they're telling me they're gonna arrest me for trespassing. And, uh, I just came here. Let's talk outside. Come on. Oh, well, you, can you give me documentation on why you're refusing my nationality card? She wants you to leave. She's not going to do that. If you want to talk with the corporate office or something like that, you can. But this particular branch doesn't want you on the property right now, so we have to go. Okay. Let's go, oh, please. Oh, they're telling me to leave. Mr. Stutzel, you have to start moving, please. So, um, what's the next best thing now? Because they're telling me I will uh, You have to be... <laughs> I just love it. I love the question. What's the best, next best thing now? Uh, the next best thing is to leave so you don't get arrested for trespassing. It's it's pretty simple. A leave? Remove from the premises. Start walking. Oh, okay. Thank you. I like Well... I hope you're not driving. You don't have a license. He said, hope you're not driving because you don't have a license. Well. I don't know. Maybe he saw this that you put on YouTube. Do not use motors. Do not break my automobile. Oh, damn it. Are you yep. That's both threatening me with the rest. No press, bud. All right. All right. Let's just have a good day, sir. Well, there you have it. Another epic failure from the sovereign citizen crowd. Uh, this time, actually failing to withdraw money from a bank where you actually have money. That that is spectacular. Here at Law Talk, we do a lot of videos answering common legal questions. We also do reviews of law in the movies and then on TV. We also share some of our more interesting cases. We're always putting out new videos. So if you like that, please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell.